Hey guys, welcome back to Chill Vibes Only. Today's video is going to be on why you may no longer be sexually desiring your long-term partner and some tips and tricks on how to increase sexual desire in your relationships. So I hope you guys enjoy. When it comes to decreasing sexual desire and low sexual desire, especially in long-term relationships, one of my favorite um, analogies that I like to use is the restaurant analogy because I think it helps normalize these feelings. It makes it easier to relate and to be like, oh yeah, like that's a normal thing to experience and make you feel better about, you know, the lack of desire that you might be having in your relationship right now. So what the restaurant analogy is, is basically if you were to go like to your favorite restaurant of all time, so you have that one restaurant that you just absolutely love um, and you go there and you know you have this one thing that you love to order and you order it every single time. Now imagine if every single you know day of the week or a few times a week you went to that restaurant and you ordered that same dish. Now imagine you do that for a month and then two months and then three months and then a year you're probably going to get to a point where A, you're not as excited about going to that restaurant because you know exactly what you're going to expect and B, the same thing that you're ordering is kind of getting tiresome. Yes, it can be safe and comfortable and familiar because you know you know what you're going to get, you're used to it, it's within your control, but it's not necessarily going to spark desire because it becomes part of your routine and what helps spark desire is actually mystery and keeping things exciting and different. And I'm not saying different in the sense of like you have to go out and try all these new things, but different in the sense that it's not what you're doing every single day. Just like if you were going to go to the same restaurant and eat the same thing for a year of your life, if you're in a relationship with someone and you're having the same type of sex for an entire year of your life, it's going to get a bit mundane, right? So some things that we can do to help spice it up is A, maybe order something different from the restaurant, right? So maybe when you go to the restaurant instead of getting your favorite dish you get something a little bit different or you order an appetizer and in relation to sex with that is like maybe you try a different position or you do a different foreplay or you do something different after sex or you change up the location where you usually sit in the restaurant so the location that you're usually having sex with your partner um, all of these things can kind of add a little bit more excitement um, and a little bit more mystery and get your desire levels coming back up you might also want to consider maybe just not going to that restaurant for a bit um, so taking a break from sex with your partner and just leaving that completely off the table sometimes when we feel like we have to go somewhere or we feel like we have to have sex with our partner it creates this like sense of animosity and we just really shut down so taking a break from it is also a normal natural thing to do and then also to maybe considering going to a different restaurant so I think that monogamy is great but now in society open relationships and having multiple partners is becoming more normalized and maybe that's something that you need to be able to keep sexual desire alive and sparked in your relationship um, so eliminating the thought process that you only can go to this one restaurant and only sleep with your one person um, and maybe expanding out and trying different restaurants um, and just sleeping with different people um, so the the whole restaurant analogy is just to kind of help you understand that like just because you have low desire doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with your relationship it just means that you might be super comfortable and conditioned to what you have and because of that you're not getting excited about it anymore because you're just so used to it and that is so normal and it happens in so many other parts of our life so if it's happening in your sexual relationship that's also normal it doesn't matter how old you are it doesn't matter how many sexual partners you have it doesn't matter how long you've been in your relationship when we do the same things over and over and over again um, we're not going to desire them as much because it's what we're used to and what we're comfortable with so thinking of ways to either take it off the table for a bit spice it up do something different that you're not necessarily used to or expand your relationship so you are fulfilling your needs of the desire and not conforming to society's expectations of you so yeah i hope you guys found this video helpful i hope it kind of resonated with you and made you think about low desire in a different light and not have so much shame and guilt and judgment around it because it's so normal it happens to everybody like the amount of people I hear message me um, from all different walks of life saying like I'm not desiring being with my partner anymore um, is normal right it's it's just things that happen in regular life and we have these different tools and tricks and tips to help spark desire again but don't ever think that you're there's something wrong with you or with your relationship um, oftentimes it just needs that it just means that we're comfortable and we might need to add a little bit more mystery or we might need to try something new um, so I hope you guys like this video. Please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe because that really helps this channel and I'll see you for another video shortly.